Caddish Pipe and Drums certainly a long tradition at this closing ceremony and one which sets this apart from the rest. We are indeed indebted to their service. <laughs> A closing ceremony, of course, is to honor the champion of this event, but this closing ceremony is more than that. For today, we honor all 38 champions who have helped put our golfing community on the map. You will hear and read much as everyone shares their memories of the past 38 years. And among those, former Channel 13 sports director and news anchor, Rich Funky. Please welcome Rich at this time to share a few of his memories of this event. Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Funky. Thanks very much, John. Every day somebody asks John when he's going to retire, and every day he says, Doug, I haven't decided. <laughs> I salute you, Mr. Al Hart, uh, for all that you have done and continue to do for Rotary and a multitude of charities in our area. Thirty-four years of golf boiled down, ladies and gentlemen, to a couple of memories is an impossible task. We've all seen so much. We've all shared so much with these players and their families. We have seen entire careers from beginning to end right here. We've seen players' children grow up before our very eyes. The Bankers Trust Classic was a $75,000 event in 1977 when our love affair began with the LPGA. Today's first was more than $2.3 million. When Pat Bradley won that first tournament in Locust Hill, nobody knew for sure whether a regular tour stop would work in our town. But the second year, we had an even bigger storyline. The Red Hawk Tour rookie came to town looking to set an LPGA record by winning her fifth straight tournament. Nancy Lopez was three shots behind Jane Blaylock when the day began and put on the first of her patented back nine rallies to win the tournament and set that record. She won two of the next three tournaments in epic battles with Bradley, and we were all hooked on the LPGA. I remember Hall of Famer Kathy Whitworth winning her record-setting 85th LPGA tournament right here. I remember Patty Sheehan's double eagle and how she dominated winning four out of seven tournaments between 89 and 95. Nancy had her Navy, but with Patty, it was always a party. All of us in the media made a commitment in those days to cover the tournament the best way we knew how. We all produced daily specials and hired players to act as analysts. Channel 13 gave Dottie Pepper her start. Over at Channel 10, we started with Jane Blaylock, and then we turned to a hometown girl by the name of Mary Dwyer from Geneva. And one Friday night, the golf was running late over at Locust Hill, and our show was at 7.30, and Mary was on the 18th hole around 7.15, and missed a short putt for par that meant missing the cut. Now, she had to come to our set and do that show. And she looked, huffed up her mic, and she looked at me and she began to cry. And I could feel the heartache. And I wanted to cry too. But we had a show to do. And I was worried, frankly, that I would have to do it alone. So I said, Mary, you must feel awful to have all these hometown fans following you. And I'm sure you feel like you let everybody down. You didn't. They're still going to love you tomorrow. But right now, you've got a decision to make. You can either gather yourself together like the professional I know you are and do this show or leave and then you're going to let down our viewers. And she looked at me and she said, you know, you're a real pain in the rear. <laughs> she did the show and she came back year after year when her career was over. The other thing I'm going to remember is how our businesses rallied together to save this tournament after the Bankers Trust and Sarah Coventry ended their sponsorships. It's what we do here. It's how we're built in Western New York. We don't quit. We figure out a way and we move forward. I remember how the late Bob Wegman stepped in and took over the main sponsorship in 1998 and how he chartered a plane for the players to take them to New York City in 2000 so they could catch a flight to France for the Avion Tournament. Who does that? That's the kind of stuff that Bob Wegman and Wegmans does and has continued to do. And finally, all those Rotary volunteers for all those years, 
all the other volunteers who stepped up to be part of this annual summer party, all the families who hosted players through the years and fed them and cheered them and consoled them, all the money raised for the Rotary camps and for education, all of that thanks to the most knowledgeable fans on earth. These are the things that matter. These are the things I'll remember. And like Locust Hill in 1977, nobody quite knew what to expect here at Monroe when our club agreed to host the tournament this year. But it was seamless, a testament to this well-oiled machine put together through the years by Linda Hampton and Jerry Stahl and Bill Strasburg and Larry Kitts and others. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, nobody does it better anywhere. There are volunteers here tonight who have been here every year since 1977 and I'll never forget seeing them year after year. I'll never forget seeing the same fans flock to the course by the thousands year after year. I know there's sadness tonight, but it's not like to be sad. It's a night to be proud of what we've accomplished. All of us here have grown the women's game. We've inspired more girls to play, and we've taken this next generation of golfers to the next level. We are a big league golf town. We know how to do it. And until the LPGA returns again, and my hope, Commissioner, is that you will, that's what I'll remember most. Thanks, Don. Thank you, Rick. I too was asked to share just a, a couple of memories, and we won't, we won't keep you. We'll get out of town. We'll get out of here. We'll let you go. I didn't get the trophy, but I wanted to share a couple of things because I've had kind of a unique seat of this event over the years. And I covered it, of course, as part of my job at Channel 13. I was involved as a member of Rotary, which kept this tournament in Rochester after Banker's Trust and Sarah Covington. On behalf of all of the Rotarians in the area, I want to thank all of you for the years of support for the camps, which provide summer fun for children with special challenges. As a member of Locust Hill Country Club and a past member of the Board of Governors there, I also thank you for 37 great years. I know, I know Locust Hill is proud to have been able to host such an historic community event. Time does not allow me to share all of the wonderful memories. It's getting dark, but I will share just a couple. One, at the urging of Peggy Wegman years ago, when Tom Mooney and I took Bob Wegman to visit the Rotary Sunshine Camp to see what the proceeds of this tournament was doing. I am grateful that that visit inspired him to continue his support and kick it up a notch and for Wegman's continuing support. In 1992, I was honored to be the honorary chair for this event. That included playing in the Pro-Am with Pro-Am Chair Don Allen on the second shot off the fairway after taking a chunk out of the turf and moving the ball about six inches Don Allen turned to me and said, you've got a lot of guts to be out here. <laughs> and finally, one last memory. The day rain halted play, just as challenged residents from a local group home arrived on the course. They came for one reason, to meet Nancy Lopez. We just want to meet her, and they were so disappointed that the golfers were no longer on the course. They had all left the course. I went to the locker room door and I knocked. And I asked if Nancy Lopez was there and I hoped that she would remember me from some of the interviews we had done. She did. She came out in the pouring rain to meet the group and to sign autographs and pose for pictures. This is a golf tournament, but it is also an event which has truly benefited our community and those with special challenges to this very day. And what I will remember most is the view from right here, as I look out at all of you, the fans and the volunteers who have supported this event for almost four decades. To the golfers, to the leadership team, to the volunteers, thank you all very, very much.